side of row number three. They bring it down, the green lights are on, and down they come. A drag race coming down the front straightaway. Dave Cliff on the outside, the expert goes up and around the outside. Sokolik right there at second. Patrick Dalton Doyle, Dalton Doyle taking away the number three spot. Look at Mike Vaughn, Bond on the bottom part of the speedway. He picks off a couple of positions mighty quick as they bring it down and around the complete flat number one. Down on the inside, here comes Dalton Doyle looking for the number two spot. Dalton now puts it into the number two spot. Sikolik rides up on the high side. He's a little bit out of the racer's lane right now as they bring it down the front straightaway. Doyle, Sikolik, Bond. Bond now looking down on that inside lane. Sikolik is letting him run as he opens up on that outside and can't hold it down onto the inside. Mike Bond now up to the number three spot. We're going to get a shootout before this is all over. Dave Cliff in car number 50, though, with Dave Cliff turning an 18 old board. Once again, here is Mike Bond. Mike going up onto the outside of Dalton Doyle. Dalton staying on the inside. Bondy right up onto the outside. Bondy has completed the pass coming down the front straightaway. Mike Bond is now up solid in the number two spot. Dave Cliff is your leader. Mike Bond in the number two spot. To Bondi with a good drive, a slingshot coming off of turn two. He's got a nose in front. What a race. Down in between turns number three and four. Coming off that fourth corner, Mike Bond is now in the number one spot. Bondi up there, Cliff. It isn't over till the fat lady sings. They go down the back straightaway down into turn number three. Bondi looking down onto the inside. Bondi staying down on the bottom. Checkered flag is in the air. Mike Bond takes the win. Dave Cliff second. Dalton Doyle, Anthony Osorio. Still the winningest small block driver at Oswego Speedway. Mike Bond gets the win. Car was running good. I got to take my guy for give me a heck of a car. We had some problems earlier in warm-ups. We they busted their butt to get it back together, back right. Got to thank Denise for give me give me a great car. Anything I want. My brother, Larry Jr., Mike Deaker, my wife, Liza, Kelly. Everybody helps out, and especially Millennium Music, Ron Gray. He's been with me a long time. You guys need a DJ? Give Ron's old call. He tried me a couple times. I was able to fend him off. My car was just getting way too loose the longer it went. Um, we struggled all day, so to come home second was good. I mean, you hate to, hate to be out front for that long and end up giving it up, but we, were, we battled side by side really hard for a few laps and never bumped or banged, so it was a lot of fun, and he was on rails tonight. And I got to thank Dalton for running me clean early in the race because I know they were right there. So and To be honest with you, the car's just been kind of, I don't know if it's kind of been sorting itself out or the track's kind of coming to us. I mean, the track was obviously fast tonight. All the times were blistering fast, um, but our car was hooked up um, probably the best it's ever been. And... Uh, you know, obviously the fastest car won tonight, but it was a lot of fun running with them guys up front. I mean, they're absolute best in the business, and you can run one, two wide, and nobody touches. Everybody's still fast, and, uh, you know, I got I to gotta thank my crew because they've kept this car under me and stuck by me. We've had some struggles this year, and I wasn't sure if we were going to rebound, and, you know, we're still looking on uh, hopefully a couple more positions better, but car's heading in the right direction, and I uh, had a lot of fun tonight. Coming down off the fourth corner. Green flag is out from Donnie Forbes. They go down into the corner, Iosu and Connor staying side by side. Bellinger drops down out of that outside front second row starting spot. Moves into the number three spot. Here comes Shulik up on the outside. Meanwhile, Iosu goes around the high side, takes over the number one spot. Eric Iosu getting by Danny Connors. Look at the 68, Michael Barnes making a run down low. Shulik on the outside. Goes by the 55 of Keith Champagne. Champagne battling back on the inside. Bellinger working on the 01 of Connors. Iosu out in front. Connors second. Here's Shulik on the outside. Shulik now battling for the number three spot. He takes it from Bellinger. Bill Sharkey heading to the pitch at the number 71. Here is Shulik on the outside. Shulik goes around the 11 of Iosu very easily. Shulik out in front. Here comes Champagne. Here comes Sitterly. They're on the outside of Brandon Bellinger working in behind the 01 of Danny Connors. Meanwhile, Shulik starting to pull away out in front. Iosu running in second, but not as quick as the race leader. Shulik out in front, Iosu second. Champagne now around, takes over the number three spot. Sitterly follows him to the high side of Connors, moves into fourth. 
Connors rounds out the top five. Here's Champagne on the outside of Iosu. Sinderley goes out there as well. Iosu trying to hang on to a podium spot as he runs in third, but it is Schulich out in front. Here comes Champagne and Sinderley reeling in the race leader, but Schulich goes to the inside and on by the 77 of Goslin and the one of West, both at the same time. Now Champagne and Sinderley in behind those two slower cars. Here's Sinderley down to the inside and Sinderley into the inside wall, then the outside wall. Watching the replay here. Otto, I thought yep. he had a run on him. And yep, no, just looking at the replay there. Yeah, Otto got underneath. Keith was probably running his line. Like I say, he might not have hurt him or anything. And, you know, because really, Keith is going to take himself out if he's going to run into a car in the corner, you know? One more lap around. Connors trying to work on Bellinger. Checkered flag is out. Schulich across the stripe gets the win. Champagne in second. Watch. Oswego Speedway Future Trophy is once again heading to Ohio. Dave Schulich, a convincing win. Uh, the car was really good tonight. Um, we fought a tight car all day, and uh, we really didn't know how, to, how much to tighten it up for the race, and got it pretty good. Uh, made an adjustment on the brakes uh, on the uh, caution there, and it actually, after the caution, was pretty damn good. Um, you know, I didn't really know where they were at. I figured we were going pretty good clip. They would, uh, the 55 on the board, I don't know what happened to Otto, so hopefully uh, he can get back here in, uh, next week. No, the first first half of the race, we were about equal with them. Um, and the last half, car went away a little bit, got a little too free on us, and uh, certainly didn't have anything for him the last uh, 25 laps after that caution. And congratulations to those guys. He's a very, very tough driver to beat, sets the bar really high. But we're, uh, we're shooting for him, but haven't got there quite yet. Yeah, they were going pretty fast. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what we got to do to go faster yet, but... Um, I, I guess I don't have a good answer. I got to think about it some more. I don't know. <laughs>